Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps scene. In this video, we are going to learn AWS Cloud Shell. And here you can see this is our demo user that we have created in our previous session. And now we are going to log into our AWS account using this demo user. So here I am using incognito window to log into my AWS account using this demo user. So here we need to log into our AWS account firstly. So click on this log back in. And here firstly we need to enter 12 digit uh, account ID. Then our username is demo and the password. And now click on sign in. So now you can see this is my AWS management console and now here you can see the icon. So the icon is a uh, cloud shell. So now click on it. And here you can see the error unable to start the environment. You don't have required permission. Ask your I am administrator for access to AWS cloud shed. The error occur because we don't have permission about cloud shed. So now I'm going to uh, my root user root account. So this is my root account. And now here you can see in demo user, there is only three permission. Amazon EC2 full access, I am full access, then I am user change password. There is no any uh, permission about Cloud Shell. So we need to add the permission first. So now click on attach existing policy directly. Here we need to search about Cloud Shell. So here you can see the permission AWS Cloud Shell full access. Check it and next review. And now click on add permission. So now it's done. Now if I scroll down and click on show two more. So here, here you can see in demo user there is four policies applied. First, Amazon EC2 full access, I am full access, I am user change password, then AWS Cloud Shell full access. So go to the AWS account. Now, firstly, go back. And then now you're going to click on this Cloud Shell. So now you can see welcome to AWS Cloud Shell. AWS Cloud Shell is a browser based shell that gives you command line access to your AWS resources in the selected AWS region. AWS Cloud Shell comes pre-installed with popular tools for resource management and creation. Click on this close. Now, if you don't uh, see it, uh, let's check shell availability regions because it's not available anywhere. So here I'm going to search Cloud Shell Availability Zone, sorry, Availability Regions. 
So here you can see AWS Cloud Shell FAQs, and here you can see the questions about a related Cloud Shell. How do I start with AWS Cloud Shell? AWS permission do I need to access AWS Cloud Shell? Which AWS regions in AWS Cloud Shell available in? So click on it, and here AWS Cloud Shell page. Now, if I scroll down, so here you can see the uh, regions available in Cloud Shell. Sorry, uh, in regions. So, so they, uh, there is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight regions available, uh, cloud available in Cloud Shell. So here you can see. So here I am using this AP South one region. Here you can see if I go to my account and here you can see my region is a Asia specific Mumbai AP South one. That's why here I am using Cloud Shell. So it's only available in one of this region. Here you can see. And if you don't want to uh, use, uh, sorry, if you don't want to use Cloud Shell, then you can use one of region. So we can use Cloud Shell. But if you do, uh, don't use Cloud Shell, that is completely fine if the terminal was working for you. So don't worry. So here is our Cloud Shell. Uh, so you cloud, uh, so your cloud shell will take a few minutes, maybe to launch your term of sorry environment. So now, firstly, we need to clear the screen and then check our AWS version. So run the command AWS hyphen hyphen version. So here you can see the AWS CLI version, and now clear the screen. And now Cloud Shell is basically terminal in the cloud of AWS that is free to use. And now here, here you can see actions. And if you click on the settings, here you can see the preference, font size, AWS Cloud Shell theme, dark or light, then settings to enable options. If I run, uh, sorry, if I uh, click on medium, so the font, you can see the font size, medium. Now here, if I run the command AWS, AWS, I am get user. Now it will show me the details of about my user. So you can see my username, demo, my user ID, then create date, and then password last used, date and time. So this is the details of my user that uh, we have logged in to this account. So now clear the screen. And now here, if I run the ls command, here you can see there is no any file in my uh, in my this directory in my this uh, cloud shell there is no any files now we are going to create one txt file so run the command echo and in this uh, enter any text so here i will enter testing file and my file name will be sample.txt and now if I run the ls command here you can see my file name is sample.txt and if I run the command cat sample.txt so you can see the data of my files in there is only one uh, two words testing files 
now if i want to uh, if i want to download any file suppose if i want to this sample dot if i want to download this sample dot txt file so firstly we need to uh, we need to know the path so run the command pwd here you can see the path of this uh, directory that means these files and now firstly we need to copy the path and then here you can see the actions click on action and then click on download file and here we need to enter path and then slash and name of our file is sample.txt and click on download So you can see here sample.txt. So open it. So you can see here in sample.txt testing file. And now here also, if you want to upload any file, so you can do it. You can see here if you, uh, you click on upload and uh, choose the file then click on upload so that is the cloud shell so now we can clear the screen so now the uh, that is the cloud shell so in this video we have learned aws cloud shell how to use it and how to give permission to our user about cloud shell so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops in channel